There is one hope, because I personally, I don't like Josh Gat. I think the only reason he's fucking rich and famous is because he's Jewish. But what can I say? That's pretty much the reason why most Jewish people are rich and famous. Let's be honest. Uh, but I don't like Josh Gat and shit. But I will say one thing that is promising about this is that producing and also helping write will be none other than Mel Brooks himself, who's still kicking it alive, motherfuckers. Can you believe that? Mel Brooks. That's promising. That's like one of the few Jewish people I respect. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't a lot. Let's be honest. Free Palestine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cheers! This sounds like good, but it also sounds bad because the same thing. And it's like, why are you going to touch something that's already good without being tainted by your ass? It's the same shit. The Hollywood's no longer original. Fuck you, Josh Gad. I don't give a shit if you grew up watching Spaceballs. You leave it alone, piece of shit. You motherfucker. That's all I'm going to say. 97 years old. Brian is saying that Mel Brooks is 97. Holy fuck. Can he even see? God damn it. I hope he's, he's able to see. Maybe he thinks that when he was speaking to Josh Gatt, who came to pitch him the movie for the sequel, maybe he thought it was Rick Moranis because he can't see that well. God damn it, somebody better tell him this is not the this is the wrong fucking short guy with glasses. And shit. Fuck you, Josh Gat. Be fucking shit up. I don't know, like I said, this might be good, but it also might be bad and ass just because they're trying to do shit that's already been done. Don't fuck it up. The worst thing you could do for any movie is to do a sequel when more than five years has gone by. Just drop it. You don't need to do another one. Hey, if you like this kind of content, how about giving this a like and a subscribe? And if you want to watch the full show, click on the link on the right or check the description.